Hey, I'm Laurie and welcome to my channel. I hope you are ready to bar hard today. I have a bar workout coming at you. What you will need is a mat for a little bit more cushion under your feet. You will need a stable chair. Just go ahead, place it off to the side and you will need a set of three to five pound dumbbells. We are going to tone, sculpt, and strengthen during this workout. We are also going to kick it up a notch with some cardio, so we will get those heart rates up. Grab all of your stuff and let's get going. We'll begin with a nice warm up. So bring the feet wider than your hip distance. We're coming into second position. So go ahead, we're not gonna go all the way down, we're just getting warmed up. So bring it about a quarter of the way down. Always make sure your knees are tracking behind the second or third big toe. Wiggle your toes, make sure it's heavy in your heels. We're just taking it down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. So take this time to really make that mind-muscle connection. We're going to be going at a fairly controlled tempo. I'm saying controlled because I don't want you to go too fast. We will get your heart rate up during cardio, but when we are doing these moves, especially with a weight in our hand or when we go to the chair for our bar work, make that mind-muscle connection. I will be telling you where you should feel it that's where I want you to feel it. If you're going faster than me, you're going too fast. But if you feel like you are going too quick with my tempo, feel free to go a little bit slower. Make that mind muscle connection today. That is your main focus. <sighs> Halfway down, then up. Halfway down, then lift. A few more like this, then we'll pulse for three, and then use the inner thighs to bring this right heel in. <sighs> Down and lift. Last one, now pulse it. Pulse three, two, one, bring it in. Three, two, one, draw it in. Three, two, one, draw it in. So really, control it through the heel, press up with that foot. Two, one, draw it in. Three, two, one, again. Three, two, one, press off through that heel. Squeeze. Squeeze. You got this, a few more. Squeeze it in. Last one, hold it in, calf raises, lift, then lower, lift, then lower, lift, then lower. Come onto the ball mounts of the feet, really squeeze the calves, control it on the way down. Everything is nice and up right here. Shoulders, hips, perfect alignment. Squeeze, squeeze. Lift and lower. A few more like this, then we'll pulse it up. It'll be about half the movement, but a quicker tempo. Last one, now little pulse, lift, lift. Try not to let those heels touch on the ground. Squeeze the calves, squeeze. You got this. This is just the warm up. Are you excited for this workout? I am. Come on, stay with me. You came here for a reason. Keep that in mind when it starts to burn. Eight more. You have eight and six. We hold at the top. Four, three, two. Now hold. Bring the heels together. Then bend the knees so you have a nice diamond shaped position. Start to pulse it. We're in first position on the ball mounts of your feet. Your option here is to release the heels down. It's up to you. You have eight and six. We hold at the bottom. Four, three, two, now hold. Bring the hands to field goal position. Pretend like it's pressed against the wall. Really squeeze it back. Almost squeezing the shoulder blades together. Bring the arms up, then squeeze it down. So it's one, two, three, squeeze. Up, two, three, really squeeze. This is going to engage your rhomboids and the lower lat muscles. Squeeze. 
squeeze squeeze come on squeeze we have a few more like this then we're going to hold the bottom motion of this and really just pulse it out last one hold at the bottom little pulses in in squeeze those shoulders down and back squeeze squeeze keep pressing those heels together you have eight six four three to release the heels step the right foot wide just start to pulse it out coming back to that second position we have to do the other side now so we'll pulse for three and then press through this left heel straighten it up really squeeze the inner thigh as we do that we just did it before now let's do it on the left it's three two one press three two one hover that foot three two one re-engage heel squeeze heel wiggle those toes squeeze it in three and squeeze another great option today is to reduce the range of motion with everything especially these squats instead of coming all the way down go about halfway down or even a quarter of the way you'll still feel it two oh, one squeeze come on a few more last one hold it in calf raises lift lift and lower lift and lower you have eight seven really keep squeezing this is a slow and controlled tempo so make that connection squeeze the calves squeeze it come on last one now little pulses lift don't let those heels touch half the movement you got it eight six four three two and release the heels start to bend those knees create that diamond shape in between the legs hands go out to the side bring it to a field goal position we'll bring it up for two lower two up two lower squeeze those shoulder blades together lower two up two lower if you want more of a challenge come on the tippy toes lower down always squeeze the heels together lower down bring it up and lower bring it up and lower four more lower down three lower down two more here's your last one hold at the top release the left arm release the heels if they were down right toes go out to the side really reach up and over towards the left side weight heavy in that left foot then you use the obliques to draw the right knee up elbow to the knee knee to the elbow then release it long so this is your stretch this is your contraction here we go it's up lower up then tap up up then tap your option here is maybe your toes are just barely off the ground maybe you're not bending that much that's okay do what works for you squeeze squeeze then link try to find a focal point while we're doing this balance exercise focus on a non-moving point that'll help keep your balance a few more like this then we're gonna pulse it out you have eight seven six five more you got it four three two now hold it in little pulses for eight eight six four three two back to calf raises lift and lower lift and lower lift and lower you have four more it's four and three we pulse it up two hold it up little pulses eight six four three 
two, and release those heels. Left arm reaches up, left toe goes out to the side, really ground through all four corners of that right foot. We'll take the first one slow. Really squeeze that oblique in, then stretch it long. Let's go in, stretch, and stretch, and stretch. You got this. Only go as high as you can, keeping your control. In, lengthen. Try to barely tap that left toe. Squeeze. Squeeze it right here. That's where we should be feeling it. In, in. Come on. You have eight, seven, and six. We'll reduce that range of motion and pulse. And four, three, two. Hold it in, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step it wide, second position, pulse it out. Wiggle your toes. Woo. You got this, hold this pulse here. All right, let's get those heart rates up just a little bit. We have some jumping coming your way. Whenever we jump, we land super soft to protect your joints. What does that even mean? Landing soft, like you have a sleeping baby right beside of you and you don't wanna wake that baby up, you land very soft. You almost brace yourself as you land. So here's what it's gonna look like. It's going to go two pulses, in, then out. Two pulses, in, let's go. Join me, two pulses, in, then out. Two pulses, tap it, go out. Heavy in those heels, tap the toes wide. Heavy in the heels, tap the toes, go wide. Heavy, tap, here's your option, in. Step it in, step it out. Option, step it in, step it out. If you don't like jumping, you don't have to do it. But if you can, try it. In, go out, down, two, in, go out, down, two, land, soft. In, go out, in, go out. We're gonna step this up a notch. In a few moments, we're taking it to squat jacks. Here's what that looks like. Down, go up, down, go up. Come on, join me, single count. It's down, lift, down, lift, down, straight. Here's the option. You're going a little bit slower. One squat, step it in, step it out. One squat, step it in, step it out. Or if you can do this, this is what I want you to hang on to. Then out. You have eight, seven. Keep that chest lifted. Look at me. Here's your last four, three, two. Hold it here. Rotate side to side, heavy in your heels. Now we're gonna get into some core work. Working that waistline. Hands come up right in the front of the face like we're about to box. Twist. My belly button's going to about a two and a 10 o'clock position if I was looking at the clock. My hip points, nice and square. That's what I want yours to do. Twist, control. Let's add those punches. Three, two, one. We punch it left, right. Keep breathing. You got this. Punch it hard. Punch it hard. Are you ready? Let's increase that tempo. Left, right. Left, right. Come on. You have eight and six. We maintain this tempo. Take it to the front in three, two, straight forward. Straight forward. Keep that chest lifted. None of this. You got this. For eight, six, four, three, two, and release. Great job. Inhale, arms reach up. As you exhale, cross the right foot over the left. Grab a hold of the right wrist and exhale, side bend 
up and over to the left. On the next inhale, draw the right shoulder blade back and then side bend up and over a little bit deeper. Other side, inhale both arms straight, cross left foot over the right, exhale side bend up and over to the right. Are you ready to get into some arm work? Let's do it. Grab your weights, three to five pounds, meet me back on the mat, let's go. This is going to burn. That's why I suggested a light weight because we have some high reps coming your way. Three to five pounds. If you don't have weights, grab one water bottle or a soup can in each hand. Meet me in first position. Heels and toes out, palms face forward. We're going with bicep curls first. It's up, then lower. Squeeze the biceps, heels come up. I know this is pretty slow, but Here's what happens when you go fast. I want you to watch me. This is what I see all the time. This, a hip, a hip thrust forward, compresses the low back and people aren't even using their biceps. Slow and controlled will benefit you more than out of control. Now, some people go super fast because they're like, that gets my heart rate up. Yeah, it does, but it's probably not gonna be good on your low back in the end either. So, and you're not really squeezing in working, strengthening, toning, sculpting your biceps and your arms. So take it with control. If this doesn't feel challenging enough, up your weight selection. It's time then. You wanna see a change? You gotta make a change and we can do it with your weight selection. And lift. So you're squeezing the calves and the biceps at the same exact time. Lower, squeeze. Try to keep the space in between your shoulders and your elbows completely still. No rounding forward, none of this. Slight pinch of the shoulder blades. Eight more. Seven, six, five. Last four, three, then we hold at the top. Last two. Hold at the top, heels up. Hold that isometric squeeze in the calf muscles. Then rotate your palms from you to me as we reach those dumbbells overhead for an Arnold press. So it's lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, then lift. Just working those shoulders. The delt muscles are my favorite arm muscle to work out. Why? Because that's what really gives those arms the shape and that definition. Everyone always says, I wanna work the triceps. I wanna get that nice V shape in my arms. Y'all, that's your delts. The delts, I mean, the triceps have something to do with that as well. But I'm telling you, I think what you're talking about when you say, I want that nice V position, the delt muscles is what gives that. If you don't work your delts and you only work your triceps, you're not gonna get that. We gotta work a little bit of everything though. Lift and lower. High reps, low weight. We will burn it out. If ever you need a break, take it. Take a few deep breaths, then get right back in it. Press pause if you need to. Take a drink, but fight through this burn. This is what it's all about. Up and lower. Come on, eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five more, four, three, last two. Hold that field goal position, palms face me, little pulses up, up. I know it's burning. Fight through it for eight more pulses. Eight, six, four, three, two, arms go down, calf raises up. Woo, just giving the shoulders a break. We're not done yet. Heck, we're not even a little into it with the shoulders. Up and lower, up and lower. You have four, three, two, one, and hold. Widen the stance, shoulder width, toes are now facing forward, hinge from the hips. So keep a nice, good posture. Chest is now pointing towards the mat, but you're not rounding forward. This is so important to get the setup. Booty back, nice long spine, hinging from the hips, slight pinch of the shoulder blades. Bring those dumbbells to the outsides of the hip. Elbows hug in tight. 
reach the pinkies towards the back of the wall. Now we're gonna get into those triceps, squeeze the triceps, then control it on the way in. So it's back, then in, back, then in. Squeeze the triceps. The tricep is this muscle right here on the back of the arm, right below the shoulder. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Back, then in. And a few more, we add those pulses. We'll pulse for three, bring it in on four. Let's go, three, two, one, go in. Three, two, one, go in. Are your shoulder blades rounding forward? Make sure you stick that chest out. Two, one, bring it forward. Three, two, one, go forward. Three, two, one, a few more. Three, two, one, go forward. Last one, just pulse it out for eight. And six, we go back to singles. Four, three, two, eight singles. Bring it in, reach back, in, reach back. This is where it really starts to burn. You have four, three, two, hold it back. Now squeeze those dumbbells together, palms face in, squeezing it together. I call this the Pee Wee Hermit. We have those arms lifted enough, so we're feeling it in our triceps, but we're also gonna hit those rear delt muscles as well as your rhomboids. Come on, eight, six, four, three, two, and release. Great job, come back to that second position. Heels in, toes out, weights go on those thighs. Whew. Let's give those arms a break. Just pulse it out. <laughs> We're going right back into the shoulders. My favorite. It'll be your favorite one day too if it's not. Promise you. Delt training is where it's at. This is light weights, three pounds, five pounds. That is nothing. We're not using 20s on any chan. We're using super light weights. That's what bar is all about. Lower weights, higher reps. If you wanna use 20 pounds and only do five reps each side, go to the gym. This is gonna do the trick too, trust me. Low weight, high rep training will benefit you just as much. We're pulsing for eight more, then we're gonna get to the shoulders. Four, three, two, now hold. Palms go together. We're holding and isolating the sumo squat or second position squat while we work those shoulders. Your option is to straighten the legs if you need to. Let's get into those lat raises. Palms face together, bring it to shoulder level, then bring it down. Up, then lower. Up, then lower. Shoulder level, shoulder level, lower down. Up, up. Heavy in your heels if you're down here with me. Lift. This is with control. It is so important to start with control. We can end with some pulses to end with, but even that's still in control. You have eight, seven, six, five more. Last four and three, we hold at the top. Two. Hold at the top, bring the dumbbells together, front raises, it's down, lift, down, shoulder level, down, shoulder level, shoulder level. It's going to start to burn, I need you to fight through it. Come on, you didn't come here to not work. I don't make workouts that aren't challenging. So if you don't wanna be challenged, this isn't gonna be for you, but guys, <laughs> fight through the burn. You got this. You came here for a reason. You came here because you needed this. You need this workout. It'll make you feel better. You are stronger than what you think. Stay with me. If you need to take a break, take it. Take a few deep breaths and get right back into it. Down, lift. Last one, hold at the top. Go wide, lower. It's lift. In, lower, lift, in, lower, T, lower down, <sighs> lower, in, lower, 
lower. Last one, then we reverse. Hold, bring it up. Wide, lower, up, wide, lower. It should be burning. Lower, lower. You got this. Lower, come on. Lower, lower. Here's your last one. Give me eight lat raises, come on. It's only eight, seven, six. Go as slow as you need to. Last four, three, two. Now we have eight front raises, neutral grip, palms face together, thumbs on top. Breathe through it, come on. You have four, three, two more, then we bring it all the way up. Bring it all the way up overhead. Squeeze those dumbbells together. Let's heel toe the feet and come out of that squat. Great job. Elbows hugging tight. Bend at the elbows, then bring it right back up. So it's three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. We are back to those triceps. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, and lift. You got it. Three, two, one, Last one, slow. Single tempo, let's go. Lower, lift, lift, lift. Fight through that burn. Lower, elbows in tight, we're not out here. In here, in, in. Come on, give me eight more. It's eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Hold it down. Little pulses, little pulses down, down, down. You have eight, six, four, three, two. Bring it up to a Y. It's bring it down, up to that Y. Hop the feet in, bring it up to that Y. Hop the feet in, bring it up to that Y. Hop the feet in, hop it out to that Y. Palms together, palms out. Palms together, palms out. Palms together, palms out. Palms together, palms out. Four more, and lift. Three, and lift. Two, and lift. A last one. Hold the arms out in the air, stick it low. Shoulder press. It's lift and lower. Heavy in those heels. This time, keep the palms facing me. Lift and lower. Straight up, straight down. Straight up, straight down. <sighs> I know it's burning by now. Lift, lift, and lower. Lift. Come on. Here's your last eight. This is gonna be the last serious shoulder burner for a while. Here's your last four, three, two, one, sink it low, we punch it right, left. Keep those hip points as square as possible. They're gonna move a little, but really brace the core. What bracing the core means is you're really just firming it up, like someone's about to come and punch you in the stomach, like you're a little toddler. You kind of brace it, almost flexing it to not feel the pain. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. Just bracing that core, it's engaged. It's right, a left. Let's increase that tempo. Right. As fast as you can go, but with control. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. 
one great job heel toe the feet in we're coming back to that hip hinge position so stick that chest out hinge forward chest is pointing towards the ground i'm going to give you a different view palms face together just bring those dumbbells right below the shoulders we then take those dumbbells to the outsides of the chest elbows are high and wide squeezing the shoulder blades together this is going to get your back muscles as well as those rear delt muscles so it's this but down here all right let's go up and squeeze up and squeeze up and squeeze so we're not right here that's just gonna burn your shoulders even more which i'm cool with that's an upright row which isn't wrong but we're down here chest is pointing towards the ground it's really important to get this hip hinge position down correct so we can work the back side of your body squeeze it and lower squeeze it and lower elbows high and wide squeeze those shoulder blades together like you're trying to squeeze a pencil in between eight more it's eight seven six five more you got it four three two hold it up little pulses eight six four two you have eight more come on it's eight six and then we hold four three two now hold squeeze those shoulder blades together hold and squeeze isometric hold hold it for four three two and release take a big deep inhale spine as long as you exhale hinge forward once you get about halfway let that head hang nice and heavy release those dumbbells off to the side grab opposite elbow opposite hand give yourself a gentle sway side to side bring all swing to a stop heel toe the feet a little bit wider release the left hand down to the center of the mat and inhale right arm up draw that right shoulder blade back and bring it down to the ground Inhale, left arm reaches up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release it down. Heel toe the feet in until it's about hip width, and then roll up one vertebrae at a time until the neck is the last thing to come up. Inhale, arms reach up, bend at the right elbow, grab a hold of the right tricep, take a side bend up and over to the left. Inhale, up to center, switch sides. All right, it's time to grab that sturdy chair. So go ahead, grab it, grab a drink if you need it, and let's do some more work. All right, you have your sturdy chair. We're going to start facing your chair, and we're only using this chair right now for a very light support system. So we're not hinging forward. We're not placing all of the weight onto this chair. It's only there for support. You could actually do this without the chair if you don't really need it. I do, it provides that little bit of extra support physically and mentally. So hip points square to your chair, light grip on top. Toes are facing forward, then bring that right foot back. Make sure the hip points are square. I'm doing things a little untraditional here than a typical bar class. We're going to keep the foot flex, dorsiflex at the ankle. So we're not gonna point it. I'm doing this because if you lead back with the heel, we're really gonna target your glutes, your booty. And if you lead back with the heel, you should be able to engage the glutes a little bit more. If you're not able to do that with the dorsiflex at the ankle, then you can switch it up, but try it first. So right foot is back, dorsiflex at the ankle, bring that heel up and then we bring it down. So it's lift and lower straight back straight down lift as you can tell the movement is not very big i'm squeezing my glute at the top controlling it down this is where i'm feeling it that glute maximus that meaty part of the butt make sure you're not opening up then you'll feel it from the side which isn't wrong we just want to hit we'll hit that later we're hitting the glute max right now squeeze it control squeeze it control if you ever feel any pain in the low back make sure you're not doing this definitely don't thrust those hips forward and bring any compression to the low back that's what i see a lot of the times people want to go all the way up here it's just down here you don't have to go that far to squeeze and engage those glutes the standing leg will be on fire as well because it's carrying the load 
Come on, you have four, three, then we hold and we pulse. Two, hold it up, little pulses back. Hit point square, come on. You have eight, lead with the heel. Four, three, two, now cross the right foot behind the left leg. We're crossing the lifting. So we're bringing it out to a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna turn around. So it's here, then here. Cross it, then lift. Keep that nice upright position, let's go. Up, up, up and squeeze, up and squeeze. This is gonna target the glute max again, but it's really gonna hit more of the outside this time. It's all about the angles. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Eight, seven, six, come on, look straight ahead. Four, and three we hold. Two, hold it out, little pulses for eight, six, four, three, two, now hold. Rotate the chest towards me. So take a quarter turn to the right. Light grip on the bar, dorsiflexing at the ankle. We now bring it in, then lift. Down, lift, and squeeze. Now we're gonna feel it in those abductor muscles. So the sides of the glutes, the sides of your thighs. Nice upright spine, control it. Here, you may be down here and that's okay. The standing leg is going to be on fire. Lead with the heel, lead. Even if you wanna bring the toes in, heel out, that might do the trick, but I like facing the toes straight forward to get it more along the side. Lift, lift lift here's your last eight six come on four and more then we pulse it out three two little pulses up for eight six four three two now hold reach that right arm up and over now point the toes Draw the right knee in towards that right elbow, then bring it down. We did this at the beginning, now we're doing again. We're about to speed up that tempo. Here's where we're gonna increase that cardio. Let's go in, 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 in. It's okay if you come off beat here. Just squeeze. Come on, give me eight more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Face the chair. Right foot is forward. Start to hinge from the hips. Getting a nice stretch along that right hamstring. Whew. Lean into your chair. Just make sure it is nice and sturdy. Can't stress that enough. Take a few deep breaths here. Let's shake it out. Let's go to the other side. So just rotate your chair to the other side or let me figure it out. Okay. Face the chair, hip points square to the chair in front, light, light grip. This will engage your core more as well. Bring that left foot back, make sure the left hip is also square to the chair. Can't stress that enough. Reach the right heel up towards the back of the wall and towards the sky. It's only right here, it's only about a foot or two. Then we bring it down. So it's lift, lower. Squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Come on, breathe through it. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze. If you feel it in your low back, make sure you're not going too high. The higher you go, the more that belly's gonna wanna drop forward and we don't want that. Brace the core, steady your gaze, steady that balance. Slight bend in that right knee. I didn't say it on the other side, but we're never locked out completely. Always a little slight bend. We're gonna start to feel on that right side as well. <laughs> we just did a lot of work on the other side. You may be a little fatigued. That's okay. Just stay with it. You have eight, seven, six more, 
five, and four, we hold and we pulse. Three, two, hold it up, little pulses, up an inch, up an inch, up an inch. Keep breathing, you have eight more, eight. And six, you hold. Four, three, two, now hold. Cross that straight left leg behind the right. Then we're going up at that diagonal, 45 degrees. Then we place it down. So it's lift, cross, lift, cross, straight leg crosses. If I was looking at a clock, we would be going to about, it was somewhere in between a seven and an eight on a clock, left leg's kicking. You have eight, lead with the outside of that heel. Last four, three, two, hold it up. Little pulses up, eight, light grip. Six, four, three, two, now we hold. Take that quarter turn to the left, light grip on the chair. Still dorsiflexing at the ankle. Now we tap it down, lift, down, lift. So make sure you're going directly to the side and you're not bringing it forward. So out to the side, out to the side. Even if you wanna bring it a hair behind you, that may contract the glute or the sides of those abductors a little bit more. We just don't wanna go, so I'll show you. We don't wanna go straight out. It's directly to the side maybe even a little behind. Tap, lift. I know that standing leg's on fire. You got it, eight more. Here's your last, four, and three, we hold it up. Two, hold it up, little pulses, lift, lift, lift. Four, three, two, hold. Point the toe, left arm reaches up and over. Release that left toe down. We go in, squeeze those obliques, then reach it long. It's in, out, in, now tempo, in. Don't worry about touching the elbow. Just little partials here. Maybe it's only halfway. Come on, eight more. It's eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Rotate towards the chair again. Left foot goes out in front. Front dorsiflex at the ankle. Start to hinge from the hips. Get a nice stretch along that left hamstring. Slowly come out of that stretch. Release the left leg long. Right arm goes up in the air. Light grip with this left hand. Draw the left knee in towards the chest. Right elbow comes in. Then we tap it out. We're going into some cardio. So let's do it. It's in, then out, in, then out. If you can, pick it up. It's in, in, in. If you want, you can challenge yourself. Bring that left hand to the hip, or you can even pump and swing that arms in or you're here <sighs> heavy in that right heel working the core getting your heart rate up <sighs> come on 16 more <sighs> keep breathing here's your last eight six four three two other side right hand goes onto the chair right foot goes back Left arm goes in to the air. We bring it in, squeeze the core, then reach it long. So it's in, tap, in. Now tempo, bring it in, in, in. If you want more of a challenge, bring the right hand to the hip. No support. You can even pump and swing those arms if you'd like. Keep it up. Here's your last eight. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Great job. 
Grab hold of the top of this chair, heels and toes out. It's lift and lower. Back to those calves. Lift and lower. A lift. Here's your last. Four. Three. Two. Hold at the top. Squeeze the heels together. Come back to that diamond shape position. I'm gonna give you a different view. You're right here. Take the hips side to side. Squeeze the obliques. Bring the left hand to the hip. So you're right here. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Bring the left hand up. Now we add some sass. Left hip, left hand. Same side. All right, are you ready? We're gonna go down for four and up for four. Booty hips. It's down. Two, three, four. Go up. Two, I'm changing the angle. Down. Three, four. Go up. Two, three. Never lock out those legs. It's all the way down if you can. Up, but kill. Still keep a knee, a bend in that knee. Down. Swing those hips. It should be burned. Down. Up. Switch arms, right side, same thing. Now with the right side. Go up. You got it, down. Show me what you, mama gave you, come on. Woo, it's burning. Booty, hips, give you a different view. Side to side, it's down. Go up. Again, go down. Go up. Again, go down. Only a few more. It should be burning. Go up. Ooh. Last one, go down. Go up. Calf raises for eight, eight. Lift, lift. Four more. It's four, three, two. We're going back to those repeaters. Left leg goes long, right arm goes up in the hair, air, left hand on that chair, knee in, then tap that toe. It's in, in, in. Squeeze your core a quarter of the way through. You're halfway there. You have eight, six, and we go directly to the other side. Three, two, one. Right leg goes back, left arm in the air. Let's go. It's in, in, in. A quarter of the way through. You're halfway there. Here's your last eight. Three, two, one. Great job. Heels in, toes out, light grip on top of the bar. Pulse it down. Our heels in and our toes are out. Let's bring the toes facing forward. Try to go back and down, but you can't pull that chair to get back or else you'll tumble over. It's a light grip. I'm on top, I'm not pulling the chair back. Getting those glutes fired up. Knees behind the second and third big toe. It's burning, hang on to it. Eight, six, four, three, two repeaters, let's go. Right leg back, left arm up, 32. Let's go. Eight. A quarter of the way. Whew. 
halfway. Eight more. Six, and then you bring it back to a lunge. Two, one, bring it back to that lunge. Let's pulse it out. Rearrange that front foot so the knee stays behind the second and third big toe. Now, I'm on a balance beam. This is more challenging. The closer my feet are in together, the harder it, the more challenging it is. If you want an option, A, reduce that range of motion. Maybe you're up here. You can also widen the stance. So instead of on a balance beam, instead of on a balance beam, we're on those railroad tracks. Maybe we're right here. Pick your poison. Everyone's different. Oh. Breathe through it. Eight. And six, we switch sides. Four, three, two, right foot goes in. Left foot goes back. And we pulse it out. I didn't forget those repeaters. We're gonna do it after this. Just pulse it down. Oh. Make sure you're going back enough to get those glutes fired up. Wiggle your toes, bring it off. That's gonna fire up your glutes. If you're here, reduce your range of motion until you can get the knee behind that second or third big toe. Oh, this is burning. If you're like, this is super challenging. I think it's super challenging too. Oh, come on. We don't work out to not get better. Keep that in mind. If you can't make it through this entire workout, hit pause, come back to it. Maybe we do a quarter of the workout. Next time you come back, half, and then maybe the full. Don't get down. I am burn, it's burning for me. <laughs> it should be burning for you. Last eight and six, we go to those repeaters. Four, three, Two, hold it up. Bring it in just a little. Right arm goes up, left leg's behind, knee goes in. Bring it in. In, light grip with that left hand. In. Halfway through. Four. Two, one, great job turning around. Face me, Whew. you can use this chair as support if you want, but if you can, bring those hands to the hips. This, now we're warmed up. You may be able to go a little bit lower in your range of motion, but if you're up here, that's okay. Just pulse it out. Full range of motion squats. We go three counts down, one count, press it up, but keep a slight bend with the knees once you reach the top. So it's three, two, one, lift up. Three, two, one, press. Three, two, one, press. If you need to, bring the stance in a little bit closer. Three, two, one, press. And your end range motion may be right here. That's okay. Three, two, one, press. Three, two, one, press one press three two one press this is it then we get to go to the mat three two one straight up straight down no hinging from those hips press last one hold it at your end range motion hold right heel up left heel up if you need to that chair is right beside of you you can have a light grip if you want. If you can, hands go to the heart or to the hips. We pulse it down. This is where it's really going to burn. We're gonna pulse it, heels are lifted. But if you need to, bring the heels down. This is it, we go to the mat after this. Keep pulsing. We have one isometric hold after these pulses. And then we get to lay down. Eight, six, four, three, Two, now hold. Can you go one inch lower? I know it's burning. It's burning for me. Hold and squeeze. If you are shaking, that means your muscles are working. Come on, hold. Eight, six, four, three, two. Release those heels down. Let's face the chair. 
Ground through all four corners of the right foot. Left heel reaches towards the glutes. Grab hold of the outside of the left ankle and just pull it in. Nice little quad stretch here. Oh, a few deep breaths. See, so challenging for me. I can't even talk. Oh, I know a lot of the comments has been on some, A, that I talk too much. I don't disagree. And B, that some of these workouts are too challenging. I don't disagree either. A, I don't make easy workouts. You can make them less challenging by decreasing your range of motion. Always an option. You can do half the workout. Always an option. I talk, A, to keep count of the reps, and B, because I want you to feel it or I want you to feel it. All right, let's go to the ground. Move that chair out of the way and meet me on the mat. Good news, we're almost over. Bad news, it's not over. And it's still going to be challenging. We're going to work your chest now, a little bit of booty and your core to end with. So we're coming to a modified plank to start. So you have this nice padded mat onto the ground. Pretend like you have one, not pretend, you do have one nice long line from the backs of the knees to the shoulders to the top of the head. Bring the elbows back to a 45 degree position. So what I see a lot is people, people do this because they want to bring their elbows out to a 90 degree position that's going to hurt your shoulders in the long run, at least it does for me. So instead of here, you're here, 45 degree angle, that should allow for a better range of motion and you should be able to keep that modified plank position a little bit better. All right, so we're in a nice plank position. Now draw that deep belly button. So draw your belly button up and in towards the spine. Little different engagement than bracing. So take it down for a count of three, find your end range motion, then we press it up. So it's three, two, one, press four. Three, two, one, press four. You may be right here and that's okay. Everyone's different. Press four, three, two, one, press four. Two, one, press four. Press four. And if you are a total BA, <laughs> then feel free to come into that high plank position on your toes. I'm standing right here today. Press four. Press four. Come on, give me two more. Last one. Hold at the top. Curl the toes under, bring them down to the mat. Now lift the knees off. Spread the feet about mat distance apart. That's going to help keep the hips nice and square. Bring the right knee in towards the chest, then release it long. Left knee in towards the chest, release it long. Now tempo, eight, seven. Hips are nice and stable. Come on, last eight, six, four, three, two, hold that high plank. Eight, six, then we release the knees. Four, three, two, release those knees. Send the hips back, a nice little child's pose. We're going to do that for one more round before we flip it over. If the wrists hurt, roll them out, press pause, then get right back into it. We may just need to build up that wrist strength that will come with time. Walk the hands back out. We're into that modified plank. Come on, we just have eight more of these push-ups. One more running man, mountain climbers, then we'll flip it over. So it's three, two, one, press four. Three, two, one, press. Three, two, one, press. We're halfway through. Three, press four. Come on, two more, I know you can do it. Three, press four, last one. Hold it up, curl the toes under, come into that high plank position. Do not let the hips move at all. In, in, right, left. Maybe you're just right here, under the hips, that's okay. Keep the shoulders over the wrist. You have eight, six, four, three, two, one. Release the knees. Send those hips back to a child's pose. Oh, take a nice deep breath here. Bring the hands in to frame the face. Push off 
and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Swing the legs out in front of you, have the weights handy, scoot on up. We're coming into a bridge position. So heels going towards the glutes, press off through the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top, and then bring it down. So it's up, lower, up, lower. Actually, I wanna take these a little bit slower. Let's take it down for a count of three, and then press up one. So it's three, two, one, press. And I just wanna point out, you may be able to go up and down, no problem. For me, sometimes that'll irritate my low back. So what I like to do, you see that? I bring it into a little posterior tilt, then I press through my heels, make sure my rib cage is kind of tucked under. I get better glute engagement that way. So try it out. Posterior tilts, almost tucking the pelvis under, then pressing up, squeezing the glutes. If you get better glute engagement, that's the way I want you to do it. Three, two, one, press four. Three, two, one, press four. And press. Make sure those knees aren't caving inward. So I almost like to keep the weight on the outside. So it's definitely in my heels, but sometimes on the outer blades of my foot will allow for a little better engagement as well. Last one, hold it up, little pulses up. Grab your weights, they should be right beside of you. They're light, so we can grab them. Bring the elbows out wide. In a few moments, we're going to isolate and hold this bridge position while we do some chest presses. In three, two, hold and squeeze the glutes. Hands go up, hands go down. Up to the sky, lower down. It's lift, lower down. Let's change up the tempo. One count up, three, two, one on the way down. It's one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, up, slow it on the way down, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, hold the hands up, place the weights on top of the hips, but use your hands for a nice little cushion here. Let's do those hip bridges, three, two, one, press four, Three, two, one, press four. Three, two, one, press four. Two, one, press and squeeze. Come on, two more. And press, last one. Oh, you guessed it, hold it up. Little pulses, 16 here. Halfway through, we have eight. Six, four, and then you hold. We'll isolate one last hold. Eight, six, four, three, two, and release. Great job. Place the weights off to the side. Now we're gonna do some core work. Bring the hands behind the head. Pretend like you have a tennis ball underneath the chin. Never tuck that chin down. Always reach up so shoulder blades are off the ground. Eye is on the sky. Leave this right foot planted. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. Then rotate the right elbow to meet the left knee. Right shoulder blade is off the ground. We're working the waistline and then bringing it down. When you come down, we're not bringing it all the way down. We'll start, we are still isolating that crunch. So it's twist and squeeze, lower down. 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 And lower. Twist and lower. Twist and lower. Now you can stay right here, that is perfectly fine. But if you would like to advance this movement, we're going to hover and straighten the opposite leg. So it's twist. Twist, other side, left, twist, right, twist. The opposite leg is now straight and we're hovering. The lower we go, the more you're gonna feel it. And the lower abdominals, 
but you can be right here as well. You can go a little bit higher. And as always, you can still release the heel to the ground. Slow and controlled. The slower version of these bicycles should be more challenging than using the momentum. It's almost like we're going through quicksand. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Bring the left ankle onto the right knee. Very gentle here. Externally rotate the hip open so the right left knee isn't collapsing in. It's working the way out. Almost getting a nice little stretch here. Left hand goes out to the side, right hand goes behind the head. Just like that bicycle, now we're not doing anything with the lower body, right elbow reaches towards the left knee, and then we bring it down. So it's twist and crunch, lower down, twist and crunch, lower down, twist and crunch, eight more, twist and squeeze, lower down, twist and squeeze, lower down, twist and squeeze, lower down. Twist and squeeze. Four more, just like this. It's four. Lower. Three. Lower. Two more. Last one. Let's switch sides. Left heel goes down. Right ankle goes on top of the left knee. Externally rotate that hip open. Left hand goes behind the head. Right arm goes out to the side. Let's go up and twist. Control on the way down. Up and twist. Control on the way down. Up and twist. Control. Up and twist. Eight more. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale as you crunch. Crunch and twist. Four more. Four. And lower. Three and lower, two, and lower, last one. Great job, bring the hands behind the small of the back. Start to walk the feet out towards the end of the mat. Hover those legs, point the toes. We flutter kick, up and lower, right, left, right. Here's your option, you can bend the knees and just tap the heels. This is perfectly fine, especially towards the end of this workout. Do what you feel comfortable doing. Right, left. Press the low back into the mat. I like to put my hands underneath my low back for a little bit more support. Let's increase that tempo. It's up. Smaller range of motion. Quicker tempo. Up, right, left, right, left. Sixteen more. Come on. Here's your last eight, six, four, three, two, and release. Awesome job. Hands go behind the head again. Last thing. We're going back to those bicycles. Now we're going to spice it up just a little. Left knee goes into the chest. Right leg is long. Hover it. Twist right elbow towards the left inside of the knee. We'll do three bicycles on the third one. We'll hold and we'll reach towards the opposite leg as we bring it up, hover down, reach, and then hover. So it's three bicycles, two leg lifts as we reach. Are you ready? Let's go. It's three, two, hold. Reach towards that leg for two. It's three, two, hold. Reach towards that leg. Again, three, two, hold. Reach towards that leg. Again, three, two, hold. Reach towards that leg. One more each side. Three, two, hold. Reach towards that leg. Last one. Three, two, hold. Reach towards that leg. We have eight bicycles each side. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two. Let's do eight more. Come on, you got it. This is it. Eight, seven, six. Come on, you have five more, then we're done. Four, three. Come on, last two. And last one, awesome job. Arms go long, legs go long. Take a deep breath, filling the belly up with air. Exhaling down, oh. Bring the knees in towards the chest, grab a hold of the back. So the hamstrings, give yourself a few rolls up. And on the third roll, come all the way up. Let's swing the legs behind you. Oh, hands go in front. Release those hips down. If you want, you can bend the elbows. But I'm right here today. Letting the quads just rest nice and heavy, feeling a nice stretch along the abdominals. Release the right hip down, look over the left shoulder. And let's take it to the other side. Left hip down, look over the right. Inhale, hip point square. And as you exhale, release those hips back to the ankles. Hold this child's pose for as long as you want. Awesome job. That was long, that was tough. If it was too challenging, press pause. Take a few deep breaths and get right back into it. You are here to challenge yourself and you will get better every single time you come here. So let's do it again tomorrow. If this was too easy, heavier weights next time, deeper range of motion. Have a wonderful day. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. Like, subscribe, let me know what you wanna see. I got this one as a request. So I'm here to make stuff for you. Have a wonderful day.